Hi guys, welcome back on Tech Again. Today I am very excited to show you the X lookup function in Excel. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are using VLOOKUP and it has already got cemented into your skill set. But VLOOKUP can still be a hassle when you need to look up a value that need to satisfy multiple criteria. Here I have a set of data. This is in fact a flight departure schedule with column A showing the departure city, column B showing the arrival city, column C having the flight information airline information and column d is having the scheduled departure time and my requirement is in another excel sheet where i need to fetch the departure timing for the flights that are originating from dubai to these multiple cities so it is very clear that I have two criteria to satisfy to get an end result. So if you are using VLOOKUP, you need to create a unique value in both sheets and this unique value will remain as your lookup value and then you will initiate the formula, right? So in fact, in VLOOKUP, there is no direct way of using a lookup for multiple criteria. So I will first show it with VLOOKUP and later on I will show how to do it with XLOOKUP in very swift way. So let's get started. I'm going to insert a column. My intention is to create a unique value. A unique value can be created in different ways. The only intention is that that unique value has to be unique. In fact, in the table, there must not be any duplicates. So I am going to do this by using a bar sign simple and a function called concatenate. So now I'm going to insert another column and use the concatenate function concatenate and I select my departure column then the bar sign then the arrival column this function merges the value in the multiple cells into one cell so once I press enter you can see it's all the information has been merged into one cell. In fact, that is a unique value. Now you drag down to fetch the information to the other sheet, other columns. Then you go, you are going to do the same step in the other sheet as well. So I go back to the other sheet. I put an insert. I select simple and I drag it along. Can I put another column? I'm going to use the concatenate function and I'm going to select, sorry, select concatenate first departure, then you have to use the sign, then you need to select the arrival city, press enter. So you have the unique value in both sheets. I'm going to name this new column as unique value. Same as here. Unique value. Now we are going to use the VLOOKUP function in a normal way. And as I am sure everybody knows how to do that, so I'm not explaining it much. VLOOKUP. You look up, select, select your lookup value, go to the other sheet, select the array, 
and make sure your information is in the third column so you put comma select the third column as your return value and need an exact match you select false then you close the bracket then you have your departure time straight away okay so you can see for fetching this information i have done multiple steps and it is a bit time consuming if your if your criteria is getting more it's going to take more time so if i'm doing this with a vlookup function it doesn't going to take even 30 seconds for you to do it i will show you how to do it now so i am going to just restore everything back to normal i delete this information back i delete this information as well so everything is restored back to normal now now i am going to straight away use the xlookup function i am not going to create new column or use other functions nothing straight away xlookup gonna select your first lookup value then you're gonna put an amber sign and you're going to select your second lookup value because you have two criteria right so then you put comma go back now where to look at so you have to look at the two columns actually so you're going to select the first column again you go with the amber sign then you need to select the second column because it has to look up in both columns then where the value has to return from that is our return value column that is the t column once you select that, you close your bracket and see what happens now. You can have your departure timings straight away. It doesn't even take a lot of time in doing it. And these fields are dynamic as well. I will show you. I randomly take an information, another departure city and arrival and see. And the timing of departure is 7 a.m. Let's see how it responds to now. I'm going to replace the first columns and see the time has changed to 7 a.m. so it's working and it's all good and it's the best way of doing lookup when you have multiple criteria so thanks for watching guys hope you like my video please give a thumbs up and please subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in my next one thanks for watching bye bye